We're going to start off with salmon, and then we're going to do some shrimp, and then we have scallops. The people attending this cooking demonstration at La Col Culinaire in Ladue knew they were in for a treat. All right. All right, we're good. The Vincent Bomaritos of Tony's restaurant fame are showing how quick and easy it is to prepare a delicious, healthy entree. A little spoon of this over the top. Father and son are here at the invitation of the group, We Can Do It, Women Working for Healthier Families. There's plenty of seminars around. There's plenty of magazines to tell you what, what to, to eat and not to eat. There's plenty of, of uh, books you can read. But we thought it would be a lot more fun and for people to, to do things that they would really like to do instead. Then we're going to set them down in the oil just like that. The fact that the St. Louis region has a high level of obesity uh, and is one of the most unhealthy cities uh, in the United States. And we want to change all that. There used to be a saying there was two things that money couldn't buy. True love and fresh tomatoes in the wintertime. <laughs> no, that's no longer true. You can get fresh tomatoes in the wintertime. Being in the restaurant business, the Bomberitos have their finger on the pulse of the public's food preferences. They say over the past 10 years or so, their customers have been watching what they eat. We uh, used to sell fettuccine by the pounds and pounds every night. We hardly sell any fettuccine. And we've changed the menu, kind of, to uh, meet their needs. But we cook everything to order, so if they don't want certain things in their food, it's, it's easy not to put it in. This cooking demonstration is part of a series done in cooperation with the Siteman Cancer Center. Doctors there encourage their patients to adopt a healthy lifestyle. And of course, that includes healthy eating. Mm. Dr. Dana Early of the Siteman Cancer Center says there's more enthusiasm than hard science about links between diet and cancer. But she urges patients to avoid the kind of eating and lifestyle habits that lead to obesity. I think we're going to learn in the next several years that obesity is a major player in risk for not only cancer but other diseases like type 2 diabetes, uh, heart disease, and other very serious conditions. In terms of cancer risk, the things that have really borne out um, in clinical studies are that diets high in meat fat can increase the risk not only for colon cancer but possibly other cancers of the hollow GI tract. And diets high in fiber probably are protective. What we don't know is that the fruits and vegetables and their fiber, is it the antioxidants that the fruits and vegetables contain, that part is a little bit more difficult to tease out. Just to hear the news, cancer, you automatically think, I'm not going to be here. 30-year-old Tammy Fig was just 27 and planning her wedding when she was diagnosed with colorectal cancer. There was no history of the disease in Fig's family, which made the traumatic news very unexpected. But surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation have helped to make her cancer-free today. Where does eating healthy fit into all this? It's definitely a priority, I think. Um, and when you're in college, you know, ramen noodles, McDonald's, you know, things of that nature are just things you don't really think about. But for me, when I had surgery and then I had to have an ileostomy bag, it became a priority. I mean, there are things that I just couldn't eat, um, things that you take for granted, like I, I couldn't eat a grape, um, you know, because it wouldn't digest through my digestive system because of the ileostomy bag. I couldn't eat any salads, which is what I, I like to eat. So it was very, you couldn't have a lot of the things I was used to eating. Um, and then after the bag was reversed, nutrition was a very important part of even me getting through chemotherapy, um, making sure that my blood counts were good, making sure that I got enough fluid. So it, was, it just became a necessity. So I don't know that I necessarily thought about eating healthy prior to that because you just take that part for granted. But I definitely think now it's part of our daily routine. Fig and her husband Brian were among those who watched and learned from the We Can Do It demonstration. It was cooked for a couple of minutes and we had our mushrooms. Yeah, I want to live a long, happy life, you know, and I think that I certainly can't do that with the fast food on the go. And if one generation is any clue, the Bomarito family knows how to eat to live. In fact, it remained with me, I guess we'll see, but my mother is uh, 96 and um, 
father-in-law was also 96. When it comes to food purchasing and cooking at home, those decisions are most often made by women. And that's why officials of We Can Do It believe women are the key to a healthier population. They will make their families healthier because if they eat better, their families will eat better. And if their families eat better, the community is healthier.